as delivered to you, the Timer Pro package has two basic work instruction formats, but you, but you can add as many as you want to the package to meet your own particular needs. We can see the ones that come by default by clicking on the file in the balancing area and go to the options. And then we go to the settings area right here, settings. And this is the one we're looking at, the work instructions configuration. So I could open this up here and you can see the two that we have here. It's my work instructions and my job breakdown. So if I click on this, I can show you my work instruction format, which is in Excel. And then I'm going to just minimize this and I can show you the job breakdown format, also in Excel. So these two formats are already provided with the package called work instructions and job breakdown sheet. Now, what's actually happening behind the scenes, you should know about as well to the uh, your Explorer, Windows Explorer. And you go to the documents area, you will find that within the common documents area, there's an applied computer services folder. This is where the uh, all the files relating to your application go. And in here you're going to find a, a folder called templates. And in here you're going to find a couple of uh, files that are of interest here. One, remember our report here was called work instruction? WI, the first two letters there. If we go down here, we're going to find a WI right here. WI instructions.cfg and a WI instructions config.xlsm. These are the master files that are working with the, uh, the work instruction one. Now, the job breakdown is also identified in here and it's going to be delivered as a JBS sheet. You can see it right here JBS instructions config and JBS construction config.slm. Right, this is a format that you're seeing here. So that's where the, the two uh, defaults are that you receive with the package. Now, if we look at the uh, one of the examples here, for instance, here is our uh, work instruction template. Now, any number of rows at the top can be customized to your own particular needs. So this you make this look exactly the way you want it for your particular company. Any number of columns on the left can be customized for your particular needs. We're going to actually capture the data and drop the data in here. You can see we've got some flags in here. It will be covered later on here. But the key thing is to remember when you're looking at your own designs, any number of rows at the top, any number of columns on the left, you can customize for your own particular data capture needs. Uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to have any merge cells flowing into the area that we're going to put our data and we're going to use everything else here uh, for our particular needs here. Now what this means is if I shrink this down perhaps a little bit, let's see I can down zoom to maybe uh, let's say 25%, you'll see what I've got here. You see I've got a layout here, there's so many rows at the top right, and so many columns on the left here. And we're actually going to go down, build down through this here. What this means is you can't support having footers in your report. So we're going to keep on going down the page here as far as we have to. So we don't want to have any footers. So if you have any footers on your design of your work instruction right now, we ask you they might put them into the left hand side or put them up at the top here. Then everything will work fine for you here. So you can see in this example, I've got rows at the top and I've got columns on the left. If we look at our other example though, which is our uh, job breakdown sheet, this guy right here. You can see I actually don't have any uh, columns on the left here, right? There's nothing here. It's just basically coming down the sheet right here. In this case, you actually, you don't have to have any columns on the left. You can just have headers uh, up at the top here, any number of rows at the top. And here again, you see our flags in here, right? So again, it's, it's going to be where you're going to put your own designs to customize the reports to your own particular needs. Now, the two that we have, uh, you have to basically protect, if you're going to use work instructions and job breakdown sheets, you want to make sure you make a copy of your own designs by copying the files out of that folder I, I explained to you, the Applied Computer Services Templates, because when we give you an update, it's going to overwrite those. It's kind of important that you keep your designs separate from ours. And in fact, what I probably suggest you do if you're going forward is you might give yourself unique prefixes here rather than the WI and the JBS we're using. That way you never have to worry about it. And you'll see more about that as we start to put these uh, together here for you.